what are the major obstacles to making TVO? Well, um, five years ago, six years ago, I asked people, how, how much are you flying? And people would say, you know, $125 a year, and maybe they were embellishing a little bit, so maybe it was under $100 a year. This year, last year, I asked them, what are you flying? Uh, well, you know, 25 hours a year. So, sitting is the biggest problem with reaching TBO, the biggest obstacle to reaching TBO. Because if you do apply 100 hours a year, your aircraft is sitting unused for 8,660 hours per year. So that look at that ratio and it's horrible. Rust is a very big problem. This is an actual engine builder's uh, a lifter out of uh, the surface of a lifter that rides against the camshaft of a um, lifter out of an engine builder's personal aircraft. He, uh, he flew it 50 hours a year, 25 hour oil changes, all pivoted, starting to stall. Big problem. And hard surfaces like cams and lifters don't uniformly surface rust like we see in the real world around us with, with sheet metal and, and whatnot. They pit, and these pits go deep into the metal, and when they're exposed to high pressures of the cam and lifter interface, at 125,000 PSI. Those pits cause so much stress that, that you actually get a popping off of the metal and, and we call it falling. And here's a severely spalled camshaft. And you notice that a lot of the damage is on the side. So the, the peak loads are not on the peak of the, the top of the camshaft, but actually in the ramp areas. But you can have damage anywhere in the camshaft, and you have to rebuild the engine if uh, this occurs. Lycoming thought that the roller cams would be the answer to their cam spalling problems. Um, we got this engine back. It came from a uh, foreign country uh, due to a prop strike at 300 hours that took apart the, uh, the engine and, and found that the, this roller cam was also spalling. I showed this picture to. 15 live homing engineers, and they were dismayed, to say the least. Well, it's in the cam bearing area as well. Yeah, it's, that's yeah. just, uh, yeah. just there was some water in that puppy, I guess, with some acid mixed. <laughs> I mean, this plane was flown almost every day. Really? Uh, yeah, six months, 300 hours. And, wow. and this, so we don't know exactly what happened. But if the plane sat for a long time before somebody got it and actually flew it a lot, we don't know. 